and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to take care of one problem, uh, one two column proof that involves uh, detours. All right, let's take a look at the problem. We're given the diagram as shown, so I have RP that's congruent to PS and also TP that's congruent to PU. So I have those two givens. Normally I like to go through the process in my logic, but this is a fairly lengthy proof, so I'm just going to go through this step by step and show you the solution in a two column proof format. All right, so we have the diagram as shown. I have the two uh, givens. TP is congruent to PU, and that's indicated by that red uh, highlighted line, and PU is congruent, sorry, TP is congruent to PU, and then RP is congruent to PS, and those are indicated by the two hash marks. The first thing I'm going to say is angle P is congruent to itself. So angle P here is congruent to itself. And I'm going to say the reason for that is reflexive property. Now I can say that triangle, and let me do some erasing here, triangle uh, SPT is congruent to triangle RPU by side angle side. So I have, I have SPT, SPT, triangle SPT congruent to RPU by side, I have the two congruent sides from the uh, givens, the angle which I determined was congruent to itself, and the long side PU and TP which were also given. All right, so I have those two triangles congruent by side angle side, and I'm gonna get two, I'm gonna get two corresponding parts from those two, from that set of two triangles. I'm gonna use those to help me prove that ray PQ bisects RPS. The first is going to be angle PRU is going to be uh, congruent to PST. So I have PRU congruent to PST, and that's going to be corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. And then I'm going to say that angle T, it's already marked up, is congruent to angle U, and again, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Now I'm going to say that angle TRQ is going to be congruent so angle TRQ, this angle, is congruent to angle USQ because if angles are supplementary to congruent angles, this angle here and here, then those two angles are congruent to each other. So now I have triangle TRQ and USQ congruent. Um, and then I'm going to say that TR is congruent to SU. So TR congruent to SU. And I know that because I have RP and PS that are congruent, TP and PU are, that are congruent. So if I subtract RP from TP and SP from UP, then I end up with TR and US. And those two are congruent because if you subtract congruent segments from congruent segments, their differences are congruent. So now I have TR congruent to SU. I have angle QSU and angle TRQ that are congruent. And I've also established from CPCTC that angle T and angle U, excuse me, are congruent. So now I can say that triangle TRQ, the triangle TRQ, and let's back up here a second. Triangle TRQ is congruent to triangle USQ because I have my angle here, my side by subtraction, and then my angle here, uh, which was part of the what I resulted from from proving uh, triangle SPT and RPU congruent so by CPCTC so I have those two triangles congruent now I can say that RQ is congruent to SQ by CPCTC once I have RQ congruent to SQ I can also say that PQ is congruent to itself by reflexive property now I have two triangles that are congruent RPQ and uh, SPQ by side 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 once I have those congruent by side, 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 I can say that angle RPQ is congruent to SPQ. So RPQ congruent to SPQ by CPCTC. And then finally, I can say that ray PQ bisects angle RPS. So a lengthy, uh, a lengthy detour proof. I need to go ahead and prove two separate pairs of triangles congruent before I can get to the conclusion that I have uh, ray PQ bisecting angle RPS.